What's good, YouTube? Hit man X. Make sure you hit that like, hit that sub. Show your boy some love. Real quick video. Uh, so the Phoenix Suns fall to the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, 105 to uh, 109 to 95. Um, led by, look like Anthony Davis, again with 34 points, 11 rebounds. Uh, LeBron chipped in with 21 points, nine nine assists, and um, Dennis Schroeder chipped in with 20 points as well. Uh, in my opinion, it is the same repeat um, game from last game. I mean, Anthony Davis come out here um, outworking everybody. He understands he's, he's a lot better than DeAndre Ayton. But um, DeAndre Ayton is still out here performing well as well. You know, DeAndre Ayton is the, the one bright spot on his team. And uh, moving forward, man, I like what I'm seeing. If he can continue to translate this throughout the regular season or just his career in general, I feel like he's going to be one of, the, one of the premier bigs in the league. But um, this is not about the future. This is about right now. Um, right now, we're down 2-1 to the Lakers. And um, everything that a lot of people are saying is coming to light. I mean, the experience, I can't, I can't argue right now, right? The experience points, um, CP3 getting hurt in the playoffs. It's just unfortunate that happened, you know, especially in the first game. I don't want to speculate. I don't want to come out here and try to um, come down on CP3-4 because it's just unfortunate, you know. Uh, and I don't want it to seem like I'm making excuses either, right? At the end of the day, I still have faith in this team. Uh, we're just down 2-1. Right, it's just a two-one lead, but the way we've played, I can't say I'm 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 satisfied by the way we played. Um, I feel like there are possessions in which we, we leave a lot of points on the board. Uh, for instance, Devin Booker. I got to start with Devin Booker. Uh, he gave us. Let me see what he gave us. Uh, 19 points, four rebounds, six assists, uh, six for 19 from the field, 31 percent. A lot of that has to do with the Lakers defense. I understand it. But there are positions in which I feel like he's overthinking stuff. Like he's out there trying to trying to draw fouls or hesitating to take shots. Like it was one possession in general um, specifically that I seen. He had a wide open layup. I swear he did. He got past the defense. Got right in the middle of the, in the teeth of the defense. He had a wide open layup. All he had to do was take it to his right hand side. And he pulled up for a jump shot. That's my problem. Like, like I said, he normally hits those shots. So if he hits the shots, I, I understand. We're not talking about it. But against a team like the Lakers, when they're when they're giving you certain looks, you have to take it. You know, you have to take it. It's it, not just Devin Booker. It's, I mean, I feel like the whole team we're, we're hesitating because that pressure from the Lakers defense is really making people think about some of the shots that we're taking. Right? And it's not until we we get down big or you know, the game's pretty much out of reach that we want to be aggressive and take, you know, shots that we should have been taking throughout the course of the game. You know, that's that's something that's an adjustment. I feel like Monty Williams has to make. And um, I don't want to make this about blaming Monty Williams. Monty Williams did make a few mistakes this game. Um, like I said, the shot selection from the team, I feel like he should have encouraged them to be a, a bit more aggressive on some of their looks that they had wide open instead of being so patient, too patient, in my opinion. But um, also. He played Jay Crowder a little bit too much, right? When Jay Crowder is out here shooting two for nine from the field, at one point he was 0 for 7 from the field, y'all. 0 for 7 from the field, right? When you got him out here being a liability like that and Torrey Craig in 14 minutes giving us more points, like I get it, Jay Crowder defensively is, he's solid, but I would much rather have Torrey Craig, and I think um, Suns Nation would agree with me on that. Torrey Craig is more productive. And I've been saying this this whole entire series. Why isn't Jay, Jay Crowder benched for Torrey Craig? And in my opinion, I feel like Jay Crowder plays better off the bench. He plays with a bit more of a chip on his shoulder when he's coming off the bench. Right? Not saying Torrey Craig is better or more skilled than Jay Crowder. But you got to make some kind of adjustment, Monty Williams. Get Jay Crowder the hell out of here. I'm tired of seeing that broke-ass jump shot. I'm tired of seeing that flat ass jump shot from Jay Crowder. Point blank period, right? Chris Paul, seven points, five rebounds, six assists. Listen, I get it. He's hurt, right? I think he pulled his groin late in the game as well, right? I was kind of half watching the game because I had to. I, man, listen, I got I got to work in the morning. I'm not about to sit around and watch the Lakers toy with us, right? I'm not doing that. But um, that's that's another unfortunate injury. But um, seven points, five rebounds, six assists. What are you doing out there, CP3? Like, like really though, we gotta we gotta find a way 
to um, integrate uh, Cameron Payne, maybe even Javon Carter, if, if Chris Paul is that hurt. Because I don't want to see a compromised Chris Paul out there. Because that opens the, the doors for an excuse. Right? Oh, well, well, the Lakers not beating the Suns for strength. Yeah, we know that, but we're not full strength, so we got to find a way to win regardless, right? Without coming with an excuse. Period, point blank. Listen, y'all, the series isn't over. Um, I'm not jumping to conclusions yet until the until they're, they they've won four games. Until the Lakers win four games, I'm not I'm not giving them any credit. I respect them as a team. I feel like they're the best team in the league, but I'm not giving them that respect to be better than us until they actually prove it point blank period so uh the next game thank god is sunday so it gives us a little bit more time to rest um i feel like we're gonna come game four with a bit of a chip on our shoulder man um the way the way we ended that game i, I feel like there's something to see in game four and that's all i have right now at this point is hope right that's all i have at, at this point is hope because um it's not really looking too good for the phoenix suns yet there is a chance and like I said before, Tory Craig has to get integrated into this into this team a little bit more. We have to find a way to get Tory Craig more minutes and uh, more of a role than Jay Crowder. It's just that simple. And Devin Booker has to be a bit more aggressive, finding his shots. More aggressive, but not stupid. Not taking pull-up threes contested. That's I don't want you doing that. I don't want you on no James Harden nonsense. But I do want you a bit more aggressive as in... You know, attacking the basket. Point blank period. Drawing fouls. Just that simple. But um, at the end of the day, I ain't mad. You know, I, I'm not mad at this. Um, I feel like Mikael Bridges could have could have played a bit a bit better too. But he only got five shots, you know. Mikael Bridges only got five shots. Uh, shot 50% from the three-point line. So, you know, he hit those couple of shots. I'm like, yeah, here we go. We got Kel coming. And, and he kind of like disappeared from the offense. So, we don't need any more disappearing acts from Mikael Bridges either. Point blank period. But it is what it is. Oh, and, and shout out to uh, Campaign. Like I said, man, Cameron Payne um, may need to start over Chris Paul because at this point, it, it's, it's clear as day he's outplaying Chris Paul. I understand Chris Paul is, is compromised. Well, if that's the case, start Chris Paul, play him for a good five minutes, and then get Cameron Payne in immediately and, and, and ride the ship and ride and ride Cameron Payne, Payne's hand. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it, it, it is what it is, y'all. Period, point blank. But uh, hit me next. That's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this one. Uh, salute to the Lakers, I guess. Ugh, I can't believe I'm saying that. But um, we'll come back. We, we got them. It is what it is. We're we, we, we gonna, we gonna fight. Y'all seen it. We gonna fight. Period, point blank. Hit me next. That's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm out of here.